So I'm making, putting a deck on up on the rack up here. I'm using these 2x12s. These are 10 feet long. So I measured this one first. Cut it, measured it, drilled the holes, and I marked it. That's my pattern. I'm going to make sure this one fit correctly. And then I'm using this as a pattern to make all the other ones. So yeah, so I made the template, and uh, here's a shout out to doing stuff square. You know, sometimes if you're doing a retrofit, like on an existing thing, or even a mistake you might have made, um, you want to make sure that it's in square. In this case, this is square, but when I made that first template, you know, I, and I drilled the holes, I made sure that, that it would fit <laughs> all the way up and down. In the middle and on each end and so that's a good thing to just double check make sure your template's gonna fit before you cut a bunch of them and drill them all the same uh, but in this case it worked fine and so I drilled the holes and then I brought it up here and uh, just took my drill and used that as a guide and then I fast fasten it using these it was underneath here see <clears throat> Now, if you were going to do something like this, you might want to use carriage bolts. And I'll tell you the reason I didn't. Um, I could have. I didn't really care. Um, you know, this is fine. So if you're going to do carriage bolts, I needed to drill the hole in the steel below that was the right size for the threads to fit through. But if I was putting carriage bolts, I wouldn't want a bigger, I'd want like a 16th inch or something less size hole in the wood because then I would drive the carriage bolt through with a hammer and it's a really nice tight fit that way and in this case um, I didn't do that because I, I wanted the hole to be the same size as the hole for the threads for the steel to go through so if I'd really cared about it I should have done a smaller hole and then drilled all the steel first and then gone back over the steel with a bigger hole and that's what I would have done if I would cared but like I said I don't care this is fine So I bought this crane from Harbor Freight Pickup Crane, and now they tell me, vehicle not included. Damn. So here it is. I took it out of the box and uh, popped it up through my little hatch door here. It's pretty heavy. And it's going over there in the corner. Wow, unbelievable. These, just by random chance, these holes line up almost exactly. Should make the disclaimer, this is not the way the instructions say to do it um, so just be aware that you're seeing me install it not the way the instructions say to do it um, for one thing the, uh, the the cable that comes with this thing is not to be used for lifting the weight and that's exactly what I'm going to do is use the cable to lift the weight so but as I said, this thing is designed to carry like a thousand pounds or something. I doubt if I'll even have a hundred pounds. It's going to be for jugs of water and uh, propane tanks, things like that. I'm doing this at my own risk. So here's how I did it underneath here. On here and it goes through there, and then I just put this uh, piece of angle iron on there to kind of tie the wood together in case it cracks or something. And again, this is not, I repeat, not the recommended way of installing this, so just be aware of that. If you get one of these, don't do it the way I did it. Unless you know what you're doing, or you don't know what you're doing, you don't care like me. All right, let's see how it works. Now, again, the instructions say specifically not to do this. I don't think the people who wrote the instructions understand the situation I have here. 
So, let's give her a try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, see? There we go. That's the way to go, man. Now, you know, bringing these things up by hand is not that bad, but why do it by hand when you have a cool gadget to do it for you? That's what I always say. Well, I think that's about all the cool stuff I have for this time. So, hey, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have a good one.